So we can start. Just a minute. <clears throat> Good morning to one and all present here. I welcome you all to the 11th session of the International Faculty Development Program conducted by the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science of Eastern Engineering College. The topic for this session is integration of AI. And I'm extremely honored to introduce the speaker of the session, Dr. S. Kartikeyan, head of the Department of AI and ML in KPR Institute of Engineering and Technology. He is a brand ambassador of Future Skills Prime NASCOM, Government of India, Ministry of Electronics and IT from 2022. In addition to this, he is a NASCOM Associate Analyst, Certified Trainer, and handling various data analytics course in recent days. He is running two startups, namely Hydrokinesis India Private Limited and Life Tech India Private Limited. Also, he has delivered 49 technical talks in his domain and gained expertise. He received 12 plus national awards, namely Innovative Professor of the Year, Best Researcher Award, Best Researcher with Patent Award, etc. He holds 10 plus Indian designs and product patents in IoT, machine learning areas, and also has four under more the examination IPR. Like member in international professional bodies such as IEEE, IAC, IANG, ISRE, and IEFRP. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation, sir. We are really honored to have you here. The session is yours. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. So let me share my screen. I hope my screen is visible. Uh, yes, sir, it's visible. Yes. So thank you so much. So let us move on to the topic. So my special thanks to uh, Professor uh, Professor uh, Kalai Silvi, HOD ANDS, and Professor Sivasatya and co-convener and team. So I thank you very much for the great opportunity. So I'm very happy to present uh, the topic integration of various AI tools for the research. <clears throat> this is my short introduction. So already uh, she have given the uh, great introduction. So currently I'm associated with the KPR Institute of Engineering Technology. So as uh, head of the department, AI and ML, also I'm For the Green Development Center for uh, Intel and NASCOM. So, uh, our, basically, what we are doing is we are doing on the various student research projects in different verticals and uh, uh, doing a lot of projects and papers on Q1 and Q2 and patterns, so on. Right? So, my area of specialization is all about completely ML research and Intel AA tools, cloud and big data analytics and high performance computing now we are uh, working on the vertical called quantum computing and no sql databases supporting all skill tools are no sql and r python and iot so these are our skills and expertise we are working in different verticals we have a good expertise in all these skills in different scenario ways so uh, so if you move on to the topic the scope of the AA tools in research article writing so uh, I hope you might have come across various tools in this past 10 days. So I am taking you to the uh, very specific tools which are open source, which are very free. There are, you can see there are uh, millions of AI tools. So now readily available, but everything is paid versions. As a normal user, as an OIS user, you can uh, uh, use the following tools, which I'll show you in the upcoming slides. The main objective of this uh, session is all about identifying or exploring some free, free research article or supporting tools. So I'll segregate this topic into different parameters. So the significant scope in research article writing is first one is literature survey, literature review writing. The second one is data analysis and writing assistance. Then you have plagiarism deduction, citation, 
language translation and journal recommendation so these are the different verticals of your uh, any research article writing when you say literature review so generally what we will do we will gather we will read uh, hundreds or 300 uh, minimum of papers and we will come across we will identify and we will analyze the various uh, data or insights from the papers the same thing now it's a is going to do now so it, through AA, we can automate this process completely. So this AA tools generally automates the process of searching. So the searching is automated here in this literature review. So that is what we are going to do. So we have, I have, I have taken only one or two specific tools. You can note it down simply. So uh, uh, you can use your day-to-day uh, -day activities in normal paper writing. We have done in a 10 days, we have written five to six papers up to the Q1 or Q2 quality papers. We have completed with the help of first years. So now this data analysis, data analysis, as you know, so in this, your AA tools also helping in data analysis. Generally, data analysis by automating the tasks, such as your data cleaning, you can use AA tools and organization and statistical analysis, you can use AA tools. What kind of AA tools I'll be showing in the next slide. A writing assistance also we can use your AA tools. So we have wonderful writing assistance tools which will help you in different aspects like your grammar and style suggestion and graph generation, methodology, ML model producing, ML model. So we have a kind of uh, better research writing assistance AA tools also available. Then comes to the plagiarism reduction. Once your writing part is over, it's so our duty to deduct the plagiarism. The famous plagiarism detectors are available, a free version and paid versions also available. So we'll see. Then automated citation and referencing. So this is a major uh, uh, blender mistake what we do in generally. So that is a, one of the best tool we have for automated citation referencing uh, with the help of AI. Then language translation, even you can take any, any language papers of Korean, Arabic, you can simply convert it to another language and then you can make it a summary from the paper. Even you can cite other language papers too. The finally, the journal recommendation, once your paper is ready, where do we want to submit? So you can simply find your suitable journal for your research article submission. So these are the different vertical or different parameter I have classified. If you say uh, the tools, uh, my presentation is a clear, uh, focus is completely about few AA tools for your research writing. So I'll be showing you some tools. So generally, when you say your AA tools for the uh, significant steps in a research, research article writing. So we have first step is literature survey. This is where we start. This is where we'll identify the problem from the uh, different papers. So simply we'll, uh, from the wide area to we'll narrow down the problem and finally we'll pick the problem statement, right? So for literature review and data analysis, the best free tools are pdf.ia and chat PDF and Irish AA. Irish AA uh, 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 preliminary trial is free, but the extended version is paid one. So uh, pdf.ia and chat PDF is wonderful free tools. Irish AA is it's a, it's a one, one among the top tool in the web. Uh, entire AA tools, Irish AA for the research article writing. It's, it's a minimal amount, even you can pay and get it though, while those who are doing a research. And we are using uh, writing assistance. As we know, Grammarly is one of the famous tools for writing assistance. It will uh, mistakes free papers. You can use Grammarly. Another one is Wallframe Alpha. It's one of the friend, wonderful tool for writing assistance. You can generate all the graphs, even statistics you can do. So everything you can do with this Wallframe Alpha. Then plagiarism detection, the better tool is Turnitin. So minimum cost, so we can buy it. Then citation and reference and management, so we can use Zotero. Zotero is one of the world famous tool for the citation and reference management. So this will available as a, like a Google uh, plugins. Even we can uh, add it in your screens, browsers, right? Then the last one is language translation and cross-disciplinary collaboration. We, we will use a DPL and Trello. This is generally we use for language translation and a collaboration purpose. First AA tool. So just I will be uh, uh, showing the uh, 
uh, each AA tool with these screenshots. So you can note it down. The first one is AA literature survey tool, which is nothing but PDF, which is completely free. So simply the steps are very, very easy. You get this home page so then what it will do you can you need to upload your PDF summary it's not uploading your documents so lung cancer prediction paper so then so the paper will be loaded into the dashboard now you can box you can ask anything from this page. so it will answer so you can see what is the links of this paper so who are the contributors of the paper so any 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 uh, New algorithm has been used or not. So everything you from here and you get done. So this is a one of the free free application use for your literature. You can finish one literature survey. We have some paid tools at there, right? So now, so simply, I am uploading the, the next two. Yes, the second sorry. tool, the first tool is PDF.a. Uh, sir, your voice is breaking, and the screen is not visible. And tool is that, ma'am, please. Okay. Is it okay now? The screen is yet to load. The screen is not loaded. Oh. Yeah, it's fine now. We can continue. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So the second tool is the second tool is chat PDF dot AA. So simply this is also a very simple dashboard. Simply you can load your PDF document and the document will be loaded immediately. And the right side you have again your chat box. It's simply you can type whatever the question you want to ask with the paper, whatever the data you want to grab it. Simply you can type in the chat box, ask for any question, so you will get it. Simply I've asked summary about the proposed methodology. So it gives a deep convolutional neural network called Falcon to automate the process of blood smear analysis for detection of malaria. So from this paper, you can see I have even verified. So it is giving a proper answer. Uh, so, how does a falcon model detect the paralytic cells in blood smart slide images? This is also given answer. So, so these two tools are wonderful tools for a normal researcher. So, we can use PDF.AA and chat PDF.AA tools for your literature survey writing. The third tool is one of the wonderful tools. You, you never see such tools. So, it is Irish.AA. This is actually a proprietary. The basic, basic search we can do with this. This irish.ia is one of the comprehensive platform for all your research processing like smart research with a wide range of smart filters. It includes the smart filters, also a reading list analysis. Generated summaries and your systematic data is also possible. So this is your irish.ia. Simply you can paste your URL link. So immediately you will see you will see different clusters here. Papers which are connected with uh, almost see here the paper title is that we are giving a paper title here. The paper sustainable decision making framework for transitioning to robotic welding for small and medium manufacturers. This paper is identified with 347 related papers from the repositories. So now this will group into different uh, domains SMEs, 
sustainability robotics manufacturers and welding robot out of which now if you click one sustainability uh, sme it has subdomains paper has main domain from subdomain under decision making transition retail banking project urban sustainable assessment now this paper is related with this domain so it is very too easy to find the reference papers the base paper is the first paper the remaining reference paper you can find through this irish.ie out of this sme one of the down of the previous decision making so when you click decision making decision making has again two parameters two nodes one is a decision making cluster another is the implementation again if you click this it will take you to the papers here the papers are grouped into a clusters so now if you keep the cursor on the power top of the paper again in this flash card you will see the small summary about the paper if you feel see the 81 percent is similar this work is similar to your paper so meaning you can consider this paper as your reference paper right so if you have idea if you want to identify some reference paper you can simply use this so 81 percent this paper is matched with your is a base paper similarly you can uh, narrow down your these are the filters the filter is your domain second filter is a subdomain the third filter is your decision making is a area out of which again you can narrow down you will get the summary of the papers so almost 347 papers are related with your work that is what the survey says that is what irish so i repeat the first one is pdf.aa you can upload your pdf and you can get you can ask you can query anything from this pdf that is your pdf.aa and chat pdf.aa the third tool is your irish.aa irish.aa is used for uh, identifying the related papers for your work the second tool is for writing assistance uh, generally we use grammarly so grammarly as you know so grammarly generally it is allow you to mistakes free writing so you can use grammarly you can there are a lot of grammarly uh, google chrome plugins are readily available simply you can install go to your chrome web store and install your grammarly tool whenever you do so it will come like this automated correction simply you can correct while writing itself your grammarly will help you for clear your mistakes basic mistakes now grammarly is complete grammarly is completely a powered desktop tool right a powered tool so you can use a grammarly for basic english writing so generally what what is the process behind this grammarly first we will write the content then we'll review the grammarly suggestion these are the suggestion this grammarly when you keep the cursor on the under red red line underscore words so you'll get a suggestion words automated word suggestions then either you accept or reject you will get if you select that green words it will accept either in the down the word you will feel dismiss keyword when you click dismiss it will be rejected then once you accept and ignore you can go for making revisions then enable again grammarly then it will go on a loop face to face manner right grammarly when upload your paper so you will have a so for correcting your defining your paper into uh, world class standards so here you will see when you upload your paper it will come up with a lot of suggestions so see here so here 77 suggestions are listed so uh, you can click one by one and you can change the correction but we need to make sure the meaning should not change simply we should not accept the uh, grammarly suggestions we should check it, uh, take care of the uh, meaning of the word sentence and another wonderful tool is a uh, world frame alpha world frame alpha is wonderful writing assistance tool for computations so it has a different verticals uh, mathematics science and technology society and culture and everyday life so if you do, if you go with them if you if you are working on a mathematical model you can go with the mathematics if i'm working on a statistics i can go statistics straight away so you see simply if you want to calculate the mean value so you can i can give the values here data set so I, if you give a mean so you, the graph will be generated in regression analysis i am just giving the linear regression data set training set and testing set so it will generate the graph 
So the graph can be generated. Simply you can download such graphs for your research papers. The population mean, statistical inference, all the binomial distribution, Gaussian distribution, everything is generated. So with the help, you no need to go for Excel sheet or writing a formula or any other R tool or something like that. You know the process clearly, then you can give the values here straight away. You'll get the graph done in one minute. Even for statistic uh, course assistance, you have a different uh, parameters, graphs, descriptive statistics, distribution, relationship, probability, random variable. You can use any, any of the domain and you can explore your, you can come up with your mathematical models. So this is, I just generated, drawn the scatter plot yesterday. So find the scatter plot of the following data, I given a value, x and y axis value. So now the each data point should be separated by the commands, commas. So see here, you will get the graph. So if you want to download this uh, page, you can simply click this download page and you can load it into your, your uh, paper or wherever you want. So this is one of the writing assistance tool. So when, when you write your implementation part, you can use this tool, World Frame Alpha. But this is, so it has a different vertical, as I said, science and technology. In science and technology, you can go engineering or science people also, you can use computational science, physics. In science and culture, general domain, everyday personal life, if you write any common papers, you can use entertainment or household mass kind of, you can use this everyday life. This tool is divided into four verticals. Four vertical, you have a lot of subdomains, right? So this is one of the wonderful tool. So you can simply use this for your research writing. Even see here, you can see the uh, regression values, residual values that we have been given. We have generated the uh, best fit graph. So that is how this another AI tool for the assistance. Next of our plagiarism check, as you know, the one of the famous tool is the Turnitin. So Turnitin will be a best tool. Simply you can log in with the Turnitin and you create your uh, page in the Turnitin. And the class name of trust here, I created trust, privacy and security. Even you can add your instructor here. Then status, the starting date and end date. How long this label should be enabled? The visibility. Under this, you can create your assignments like a paper. So here I uploaded four papers, paper three, four, five, and six. Each paper data I've given. So simply you can submit this paper. You will get the similarity report. Give a submit your paper, wait for uh, uh, one minute, and you'll get the summary, the similarity report. First paper has plagiarism 9%, 7%, 21, and 1. When you click view, the paper gets loaded. Uh, so before uploading, this is uploading process, single file upload, you give your first name and last name and paper title, click your choose from computer, the paper gets loaded like this. You can see your paper here and confirm. And finally, when you download the report, you will get the similarity report like this. 9% similarity, 5% from internet source, 7% from publication and 3% from the student papers. When you click this each uh, 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 letters, you will get this corresponding plagiarized content. So, so that you can easily uh, go back and uh, rectify those issues. And the fourth AA tool is uh, citation and reference management. So this is one of the uh, famous tool for citation, paper citation and reference management, Zotero. So Zotero is one of the famous AI tool for your uh, research, uh, personal research assistant tool, right? So this tool, the purpose of this tool is for citing your reference, right? So this is the installation. This Zotero, it is available in two modes. It is available for even Windows. It is available for the browser also. So for Windows, you can download it and you can install it. For uh, browser, you can use the Chrome uh, you can go to the Chrome uh, web store and download this Zotero connector. So this will work with your browser. It is like a flash card. At the top end, you can see this flash card. See here, here it is, whether my point is visible, let me know here. Now you can see this flash card, uh, flash card symbol. Uh, here, if you click this, you will see this Zotero uh, connectors. 
uh, then what Zotero will do, you just uh, upload your PDF, right? So uh, role of artificial, suppose you are reading this paper, sorry, you are reading this paper after opening this Zotero, when you, uh, I feel like I, this paper may be a suitable for my uh, paper. This paper will be a right fit as a reference to my paper. So what I will do, simply you can click this uh, flashcard. Your Zotero will be uh, enabled, uh, saved to Zotero. So meaning this paper uh, will be stored in this Zotero. What, what format you want, so the default format will be stored under Zotero. Because every time you don't want to download the site this and get the citation format, either biblics or text or whatever may be. So you don't want to do that. When, while reading, if you simply you click this Zotero save us, so the citation will be saved here. At the end, what we will do, you can download the complete citation and you can put it in your reference section. So this is an easy way of doing this. Uh, paper citation and reference management. See here, I am reading this paper, role of AA review article, role of AA in object detection or review. So while reading, I feel that this paper may be a right fit for my reference paper. Simply I am clicking this flashcard, I am clicking save to Zotero. So this, then it, you will get this dialog box, select this checkbox and click OK. Now this paper uh, will be uh, stored under Zotero DB. So once you have done your article uh, reading or completion, then you can simply go to this cited article access. You download. See here, I have saved almost over 10 papers, related papers. Citations are stored in this format. Simply you can uh, download this format and put it in your uh, reference section. This is the best way to uh, organize your reference. This is also give it in the alphabetical format. So, so that is also you mean no, don't want to worry about it. So that is how your uh, paper a citation and reference works. And the four, fifth tool is language translation. Language translation. There are two tools I would like to recommend. One is a DPL. Another one is the Trello. Basic difference between your this. DPL and Google Translator. Google Translator, you cannot upload your PDF, but here you can upload your PDF. It will work for 31 languages, which is exclusively done for your research writing. So you can, you can upload your PDF and convert it to any number of languages, right? So uh, it has, even it has a download option, PDF, Docs, and PPT. The, whatever the format you want to do it, you can do it. So this AA tool is a DPL translator. See here, so uh, it is the content is given. So it will detect the languages, whatever the language you want to convert, you can do it. Here we have given, we are converting from Turkish to English. So through the DPL translator, right? So this is complete AA tool. So this will also give you a proper uh, even you will feel like uh, some kind of quill bolt, other fair of phrases tool will which you will get some mismatch or you will get wrong meanings, but this works better. We have tried it. Uh, the next tool is cross disciplinary collaboration tools. So when you work on uh, research projects uh, with other department or if a research guide is allotting a work for her research scholars or his research scholars, you can use this Trello workspace. This Trello workspace is like one of the uh, collaborative workspace for the cross disciplinary. So you can assign your works here. You can assign a task here. You can give a deadline and uh, you can uh, complete track of your research progress through this Trello workspace. So this is one of the wonderful workspace for the researchers. So you can simply keep track of all ongoing projects with a single view. So see here, first one is a review of technical partner pages. Deadline is May 25. Make sure sponsors are indicated for the tech talk. So even you can keep your normal uh, uh, to-do list, your work progress, your research progress, everything you can keep it through this Trello uh, data sheet. So this Trello is one of the famous tool for your collaborations, right? 
so the the last tool is uh, to build the graph so generally uh, uh, what i shown you is the uh, irish.ia this is another version this is one of the famous page as you know this connected tool connected tool is one of the unique and visual tool for the scientists to find and explore the relevant papers of the work simply you can give you a paper title or doa or any other identifier immediately it will uh, suppose here just i have given portable water location tagging system for victims of natural calamity just i have given one of the paper so now the what this will do this will choose the wherever this paper is related to so it will come up with a graph so this paper is connected with almost 100 plus papers so related papers so now this will build a graph so meaning it, it, it is a similar paper similar works or similar algorithms somewhere it is a graph it will build a graph so there it won't build a graph it will give you a uh, uh, i mean like a clustering type so here you will see the graph based structures with the, the author name comma the year you will see deepika dot 2004 again jailashmi 2019 again babu 2022 so kind of if you keep a cursor on this uh, uh, small uh, buttons you will see the history in this right side about the papers everything who's author it's everything so this is one of the connected papers So that's all about your uh, various AA tools. So other than this, there are some of the uh, generative AA tools also playing a vital role. So generative AA works in four different verticals. One is a visual, another one is a audio, then third one is a text generator and fourth one is a code generators. So in visuals, uh, you can do image generation, video generation, design generation, everything you can do through a visual gen AA generative AA tools. Audio uh, voice generators are there, music generators are there. I think you come across many generative AI tools, right? So, text generator, code generators. Now, the code interpreter have been, have been introduced. So, wonderful code interpreters. So, so these are various AI tools. So, we can focus on specific tools uh, uh, for the research and we can explore it, right? So also this generative AI uh, uh, is used in various vertical research, text, video, image, and code. Code, you'll see the variety of tools starting from the GitHub to Mintlify and Stenography, etc., and speech and 3D. In research, the main role is OpenAI and DeepMind and AI21 Labs, something like that. These are all for, for helpful for your research, but all paid ones, right? Also, there are some uh, 30 AA tools we can use it in the classrooms for our regular activities. These are, are even by students or even by the professors. So we can use like as ChatGPT is standing number one, as we know, then Education Copilot, Quillbolt we know, out of which Chatbot, we ChatGPT, Quillbolt, Grammarly, and what else? So there are a few uh, famous tools which we know earlier. Other than that, uh, we have a few new tools. Even you can try slidesaa.io. Slidesaa.ia is one of the famous tools for your PowerPoint presentations, right? Simply you can use slidesaa.ia. You can give the content. It will generate the PDFs. It is like a Canva. Canva is also an AA tool, so it's a free. Uh, Canva Magic also now it's kicked in. So Canva, Canva bag, Magics, everything is under your uh, AA tools, right? But all the above, over and above, the disclaimer is whatever we do, whatever the tool or whatever the AI tool offers, the lot of changes or advantages. But this will used as a one of the aid, teaching aid, rather than the substitutes for the human intellect. So it 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 may not, it, it's not going to be a replacement, it is going to be a, a just a teaching aids. But as a researchers, it is our duty to evaluate the output provided by AA tools and exercise their judgment and expertise throughout the research and writing process. Even if you check a plagiarism or even if you write a content, 
so you will see the a how how much of content you generated through a is that is also even you turn it in you can see when you download the report it will show you how much of content you have written through a is also it started showing off so 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 it is our duty to evaluate and verify stuff which is given by the ai tools right so that that's all from my side so so if you have any questions so uh, any doubts you can ping me through karthik intelligence at gmail.com so i'll be ready to answer it right so i'll be uh, show the some of the uh, uh, pages you can see this is your pdf.ai uh, so for example uh, and loading this page simply i'm just uploading my document and like see some energy upload it is a simple process the paper will be loaded so you can see the paper in pdf when you upload your pdf the paper gets loaded now you, you in the right side you will see the questions suppose i am asking give me the summary of this document so see now your ai started giving you a summary of this document about this paper this is my paper just i uploaded the title is deep convolutional neural network and transfer learning based approach to detect malarial parasite suppose this is summary so uh, give me the uh, uh, what do you say A significant contributions of this paper it will give the significant contribution of this paper so whatever the question you ask so it will give you so kind of that is your pdf.ai chat pdf also similarly same so you can i think this two tools it will help you for your research writing uh, then your i think turn it in as you know turn it in simply we can log in so if you have accounts It will take you to this home page. Simply, you can create your class. You can create your own class by clicking Add Class. And just here, I have created plagiarism folder. So under this plagiarism, we can go click View. Suppose I am submitting a file. I can click Submit. You can upload your file. Suppose I am giving this upload. File gets uploaded. So the view, the preview you can see here. The paper gets uploaded here. If you confirm it, the paper will be loaded for the plagiarism check. Go to assignment box. Wait for uh, a second. So go back and come back somewhere. So you will see like that. So this is so if you want to delete something, we can delete it. And then deletion also we can do. See, I have submitted this paper, so I got 99% plagiarism, meaning this paper is already published. So just you can click that plagiarist content. You will see here, you will get this paper. Simply click this. See here, now yay. So previously it was not there. Recently it was enabled in the star meeting. See the yay plagiarism. So
you see first paper it is a 65 percent the author is 32 so remaining you will see kind of things right so now in turn it in it is integrated with a2 if you copy more from a simply you will get it here right so this is how turn it in works so if i don't want simply i can delete it so so i summarize so, so this is how this tool works right so i summarize we, uh, we have seen the almost uh, seven tools one is pdf dot a chat pdf and irish then writing assistance you can use whole frame alpha and grammarly plagiarism detection you can use better you can use Arnotin. and citation and reference management you can use zotario language translation and collaboration you try to use dpl and trello trello is one of the better tool for your class assignment group project assign assigning a group projects etc you can use it so that's all from my side thank you so much if you have any questions you can ask thank you so much sir for your valuable time thank you ma'am thank you thank you so much sir Thank you, thank you. Participants? Sir, there are some questions in the chat. Yeah, ma'am. Participants, thank you so much for your uh, time and you join with us for this uh, FDP. Emma, can you conclude? Yes, ma'am. Uh, participants, are there any more questions that you need to be asked? You can unmute yourself and ask. Or you can put it in the chat box. We need your valuable feedback. This is the last session. We are ending with this FDP. We need a feedback from your side. Participants? Okay, so I'll conclude this session. I thank Dr. S. Kartikeyan for sharing his knowledge and expertise on different tools that are available for research. I hope with this, the participants who are a part of this session have been benefited and could make the document process faster. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation, sir. The session was really helpful. With this session, we come to the end of the two-week International Faculty Development Program conducted by the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. I would like to invite our HOD, Dr. Kalei Sarvimam, to address the gathering. Dear participants, without you, it, it, it will not be a successful one. So, hope you enjoyed and uh, had a, a thoughtful research tools you, uh, you prepared and uh, you are equipped with uh, lots of tools related to research. Thank you so much, participants. We need your valuable you. uh, feedback. Thank you, sir. Again, sir, with us. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, we will share our overall feedback. Please fill that also. Based on that, we can issue certificates. Thank you. And uh, we can have a photo session. Hey, Ma'am Biga, can you announce? Yes, Ma'am. Uh, thank you so much, Ma'am, for your valuable feedback. I request some of the participants to unmute themselves so that we could know your feedback too. You can unmute yourself and speak. Good morning, ma'am. This is uh, Dr. G. Nirmala from RMD Engineering College. Is my voice audible, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Morning, ma'am. It's audible. Hello. I, my heartfelt thanks to friend uh, College LV, madam, for organizing such a wonderful session. For the 11 days, uh, we have learned a lot. Uh, then we have to implement. Uh, uh, I heartedly thank my friend uh, Kali Chelvi ma'am for organizing such a wonderful session and uh, calling experts from various uh, uh, hats up to you ma'am over to you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am any other participants who would like to share their uh, feedback good morning madam good morning, good morning sir. madam this is dr barani the end uh, faculty in bca uh, the new college chennai all the days were enriched with the great uh, knowledge and content uh, in the research. 
uh, thanks to the organizers and particularly to the management of your college uh, so that um, all the researchers the scholars the faculties have got a lot of benefits because without research uh, um, no uh, there is no improvement to the society so through this research I, uh, we hope that we'll do a, lay a lot of things to the society for the benefits thanks a lot madam thanks a lot for the great opportunity in the near future also i hope uh, you'll conduct these kind of uh, fgps so it will uh, make us uh, to keep in the current trends. Thank you, madam. Happy day. Thank, Thank you so you much sir. for your valuable feedback, sir. Thank you. I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to our uh, head of the department, which is Sri Kalesari ma'am, and Nirmala ma'am, the convener of this FDP, to organize and convene, uh, coordinate this event. Your attention to details have ensured the smooth execution of this program, creating an atmosphere, a conducive learning and interaction. Without your efforts, this event would not have been possible. Furthermore, I would like to express my gratitude to the management of Ishwari Engineering College for their constant support and encouragement. I would also like to thank Mr. Pranav and Janani Ramesh for helping us throughout this session from behind the scenes. I thank all the participants for showing interest in joining our program. We really hope it has been an extremely useful session for all the researchers who have taken a lot of insights with you. I really uh, appreciate for you for joining us this session. Can you all please turn on your video so that we can have a photo session? Thank you so much, participants. The feedback form for the day, the feedback link is being posted in the chat box. Uh, the overall feedback form will be shared with you through personal mail and WhatsApp groups. Uh, you have to fill that because that will be taken for the certificate purposes. And the certificates will be provided within a week's time or seven days. I'll uh, let you know when the certificates are done. Thank you so much for joining us in this session. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Please make sure to fill the uh, feedback form and the overall feedback form also that will be taken up for uh, certificate purposes. Please provide the proper email ID which will be sent through. Those will be used to send the certificates. Thank you. <laughs>